To update your template's color palette, we will first locate the approved digital color values for your brand, then access and modify the color palette chips within PowerPoint. The color values for your company's main colors should be accessible in a look and feel defining document, such as a style guide or brand guidelines. Colors for printed media will most likely be listed, but look for online or digital color values. Usually these will be expressed as RGB, red, green, blue, values. Note these values and have them handy when updating your colors in PowerPoint. In PowerPoint, to access the location where you can edit the color chips, go to the Design tab, click on the down arrow in the Variance menu, and choose Colors, Customize Colors. You'll see an area where you can create new theme colors. Each of the theme colors represented corresponds to a color in the top row of your presentation's default color chips. Note that the hyperlink and followed hyperlink colors do not show up in the color chips, but they do show up when you create a hyperlink. To change the colors, click on the color to pull down the color menu and select More Colors. This will allow you access to the color defining area. Make sure you are in the Custom tab and enter the RGB values in their respective areas. Click OK. Repeat this for the rest of your colors. Create a name for this custom set of colors and click Save. Choosing which colors work best in which slots can require a lot of trial and error. We often recommend using black and white or white and black as the first two slots. Beyond that, you'll need to work to create a group of colors which not only provides variety and contrast, but also a harmonious and consistent expression of the feeling of your brand. If you'd like more online or in-person Duarte presentation training, click on the link below.